Thank you, Ray. Let's take another question from Berkeley. There's a gentleman standing there with a beret, sir. Hey, you mixed it up here in Berkeley, uh, 911 Truth Singer Songwriter. Um, Ray, you might want to take this one, or anybody's welcome to have a stab at it. I want to talk about torture accountability. You know, a documentary was uh, released called 9 11 in the Academic Community. And uh, Professor Michael Trucello stated that 25% of the footnotes in the 9 11 Commission report come from torture without saying so. And Professor Graham McQueen said that they made torture the core central uh, part of their official story. Um, so I want to thank Ray, of course, for standing up uh, at the hearings recently. He got roughed up uh, for uh, saying they weren't asking the right questions of the woman who actually presided over the uh, dark site in Thailand, uh, Gina Haskell, the bloody Gina fellow, uh, person. And uh, then the, the bipartisan uh, Congress, Democrats and Republicans, uh, approved this torture person. We know that Obama made the uh, 6,700 pages of the Senate report on torture uh, classified for another 12 years, which kind of green-lighted. Uh, um, well, sir, thank you for your interesting wrap-up. Uh, do you have? Can you put it in the form of a question, though? Because we have other what questions as well. Is, how do you see this information? Why isn't it known? Why isn't that well known? Why is the 9-11 Truth Movement using 28 pages from a discredited congressional committee from 2002 and not outraged that this information has been suppressed for another 12 years? Okay, uh, thank, thanks for your question. Uh, if I could just uh, start here and be as brief as I can. Uh, when you look at the Senate Intelligence Committee, it's run by a fellow named Richard Burr from North Carolina. And what's the first thing he did when he took the reins as chair in 2015? He recalled all copies of the four years in the making Senate intelligence research based on original CIA documents of CIA torture. He said, I own those uh, copies now. You give them back to me, they're Congress's copies. And in my mind's eye, I see Gina Haspel running over to the Senate and say, here's our copy here. here. And there's supposed to be one in the library, as you say, the uh, Obama library. I'm sure if they tell him to ditch that, he'll do it because he is a tool of these folks and has shown that he has been. Now, the other thing is, uh, let's see, the other thing you were asking about was, yeah, the 9-11 thing. I'll just be very brief on this. Uh, the first thing I looked at, and I was on BBC right after it was released, I, I looked in the index and I tried to figure out who did it, who masterminded this thing, and why, okay? Now I turn to one page 147. If you have the 9-11 Commission report, you might want to do that. Now it addresses a fellow that had just been captured. His name was Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Everyone thinks that's the mastermind behind 9-11. And uh, when, he was, when he was captured, uh, the people working on the reports, oh, well, can we ask him why he did it? And the CIA said, no, you can't. We ask him, give us some questions. Well, actually, they did ask him. And on page 147, it says this. You have to understand that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed has a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of North Carolina, Greensboro, okay? So the analysts thought, well, maybe, Maybe somebody called him a towel head, or, or maybe he had an affair of the heart that went bad. So maybe he hates America because of that. Well, no. This is the way the sentence reads. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed's animus towards the United States does not spring from any experience he had as an academic, academic training in North Carolina. But at, by his own description, it stems from his extreme hatred for U.S. policy favoring Israel, period. End quote. Little footnote there, down at the bottom of the page. Whoop! This is the same thing that his nephew, Ramzi Youssef, who tried to knock down those buildings in, in 1993. That's what he said when he was uh, condemned to 140 years in prison. He said, I'm glad I did it because I, I have this extreme hatred for what Israelis are doing in my area of the world. So uh, that's a part of the 9 11 uh, thing that has been completely. Uh, wiped off the page, but it is there on page 147. I refer interested people to that. 